from Pipoca de Pimenta. Mm -hmm. uh, first, I, I want to say thank you for this amazing uh, oh. animation. Oh, really. that's so nice to hear. <laughs> and Peanuts is not a movie only for children. It can be for children, adults, for old people. How did you manage these uh, two uh, take all of these targets. Well, I tell you, when I first started working on the film, I thought this is a wonderful opportunity to make a story that the entire family can go see. And I mean grandparents, parents, and kids. And, and a big part of that is that uh, adults like myself, I grew up with these characters. So there's something fun about seeing them come to life again on the big screen. It's like seeing old friends uh, again. And, you know, for a new generation, uh, Craig Schultz, who's the son of Charles uh, Schultz, as we first started, you know, his, his main desire was to keep his father's legacy alive for a new generation. And kids today don't see the comic strip in the newspaper like I did. And they meet characters on the big screen. And so we thought, here's a wonderful opportunity to give to our kids to a new generation, these wonderful characters that we've always loved. In other format, yeah. in cinema. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, the thing that I found that's amazing, Charles Schultz never wrote down to kids. He actually wrote a comic strip that was for adults, but the characters were kids. And so I find that these characters really connect with young, with kids, because they see themselves. But the way that they express themselves, the feelings, the ideas that they're wrestling with, are universal and timeless. They connect with me as much as they do with my daughter. Thank you for this. Mm -hmm. uh, characters as Snoopy and Charlie Brown have already have uh, personalities. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Did it make your work easier or more difficult? Well, in that respect, it made my work easier. Uh, to me, in animation, in filmmaking, to create a great story, you need wonderful characters. And these characters, I, I will say, are some of the best characters ever created. They're, um, you know, they're very well defined. You've got Lucy, who's bossy. You've got Charlie Brown, we call him that lovable loser. He keeps trying hard. You've got Snoopy, who is, you know, he's an action hero, he's joke cool, and then he's really funny. And so, for us, the challenge was to tell a new story and to create a feature film not just a collection of comic strip moments, but a story that has real narrative drive, where you're invested in the characters, you're rooting for them to succeed, and uh, that it plays out in a feature film style. That was probably the biggest challenge. How did you see uh, Charlie Brown, uh, an unsure boy? Well, I tell you, what, what I always saw when I was growing up was I saw his failures. And I always would laugh when he'd get tangled up in his kite string, or he would miss the football with Lucy. But in this movie, what we did, we looked at the 50 years that he was in the comic strip and realized, you know, there are certain qualities that we don't always pay attention to. And that is that he's kind to his little sister, Sally, who's always, you know, kind of bugging him for things. And he's very patient and kind. He's honest, and most of all, He's a guy that always tries again. In the face of any failure, you see him pick himself up and with a positive attitude say, today's the day I'm going to do it. He's, he's always hopeful. And we wanted to show in the film that those qualities are actually more important in our interactions with people in our day-to-day -day life. Yeah. This movie uh, can uh, bring a message to, uh, for children, for adults, for me, yes. and it is very cool. It's well, very good. It's, you know, it's so interesting. When I was working on the movie, I look at what goes on in my life with my family. I have two daughters, one who's in college now and one who's getting ready to go to college. And at this particular time in your life, you take a test, you are compared with everybody else around the country, around the world. And I saw their friends and many of them get feel like their whole self-worth was being described by that test score. And I said, well, you know, we're missing the other part, which is being a good friend. You know, those things are more important than that test score. And Charlie Brown in our movie can show us that. And to me, that's the takeaway. You know, there are many ways to be a winner in life. It's not always the gold medal. 
It can be the way that you interact, the way you are a good friend to someone. Don't nasty. Exactly. And, you know, Charlie Brown and the gang can show us that.